If you guys would like to go ahead and purchase a cheap and instant GTA 5 modded account for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, then make sure you guys do check the link in the description of this video. Yo, so what is going on guys? My name is Vortex and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm showing you guys the top 5 best working wall breaches after all the latest patches of 1.39. Now if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, a like down below would be highly appreciated as it shows your support towards the channel and it showed that you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you have not already as I upload daily GTA 5 online videos. Also guys, I know a lot of you are looking for modded accounts and my friend does have around 10 more left. He only takes Amazon so... His link to his Twitter is down below in the description. Like I said, he only takes Amazon gift cards. Now you can buy Amazon gift cards and give them to him and he will give you the account. He is legit. I literally just bought an account off him and it is a really nice account. They have money, outfits, cars, fast run, all unlocks, you know, just a nice modded account. A lot of you guys are looking for money mostly. So like I said, I'll leave his link down below in the description. I've just bought a new account off him, like I said, and if you guys want to add that account, the name of the account is XX. D O N T underscore D O underscore I T X X I I. So if you guys want to add me, just chuck me a friend request. I'll be on this account more than my XP account now, but I will be switching in between the both. But if you guys want to add me, that's my gamer tag. So with all that out of the way, then guys, let's hop straight into this video. Alright then guys, so to start this first glitch off, you want to come down to this location on the map. Now when you are at this location on the map, then you're going to see this red brick on the wall and you just want to like, if you want a bike, do what I'm doing, which is rotate your bike so you can just like slip straight in. And as you guys can see, you are now in a god mode wall where you can kill people inside of it, but people can't kill you when you are inside. Now let's get on with this next one. Alright then guys, so for this next one, you want to come down to this location on the map. Now this is the fire department. When you are at the fire department, grab a mule or any sort of like big truck and you want to park it like I have so the back of it is touching the door. Now walk all the way to the back of the mule or the truck, whatever you're using, and you want to press square to jump up into the roof. And as you guys can see, we're now in the wall, but you need to be careful when you are in here. Just follow the route I'm taking. There's a lot of really thin gaps that you need to get through. But as you guys can see, this is a really popular location where people come to customize their cars or just drive about. It's right in the middle of town, so it is a real popular location. So you can troll people, you can kill people, but people cannot kill you. But with all that said, let's get on with this next one. All right then guys, so for this next one, you want to come down to this location on the map, and this is the strip club. You want to grab a car like I have, it's like a four x four. And now once you have got a four x four pocket like I have, just go between the pillars and you want to put your car right up against the back wall. And now once you're backed up against that guys just hop out the car and then you want to jump on top of the car and this is a bit similar to the fire department one guys just jump on top of the car and then you want to jump up into the roof and as you guys can see if you just go to the back of the car and press square it will put you up into the roof of the strip club and then you can drop down now this flooring does make you think that you're going to fall straight through but you don't it's like a flooring but if you go in first person it shows that you're inside there and you can shoot people, it locks onto people, but you can't see your gun. It is a really fun wall bridge, guys. People just keep respawning because it's like you're not in the strip club, but you are, so you can keep killing people and they will just keep respawning and people will come in and they won't have a clue what's fucking hitting them because usually you can't use your guns inside this place. But that's glitch number three, guys. Let's get on with this next one. Alright then guys, so for this next glitch, it's this location, once again another popular location and you will need a insurgent for this glitch. So grab an insurgent and park it like I have in between the window of the building and the wall and you want to jump into the wall just so your character falls over in the crack and it should shoot you up into the roof of the building. You can shoot rockets out of it, you can shoot your guns out of it, you can throw grenades out of there and once again this is a really popular location so people will wonder why the fuck rockets are flying out of the wall. Alright then guys, so for this next one, I've saved the best till last, it's quite a funny location. So come down to the airport guys, now when you guys are at the airport, you're going to see this ramp that leads up to the higher part of the road, and you want to park a car underneath the road, 
And as you guys can see, when you climb on top of the car and press square, it's going to put you up into the road. And as you guys can see, you're like really short. If someone drove past and they say that, you know, I saw someone the size of my ankle down, they're going to laugh and it's definitely going to be a fun glitch for people to see. And it will be good to troll your friends. But that's going to do it from me, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, a like down below would be highly appreciated. But until next time, guys, my name has been Vortex and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and peace out. Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Ryan here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five wall breaches that you could do after the patch of 1.39 inside of GTA 5 Online. So, guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe for more daily GTA 5 Online content. But other than that, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so coming in at number 5, now these aren't in order, they're just random, but yeah, coming in at number 5, you will need a insurgent for this glitch as well, and you will need to come to this location right here. I actually really like this wall breach, and uh, all you need to do is just get a random street car that's big enough, kind of like this one you can see in the video right now, and just park the cars in the same position you do see me park them in the video, and then guys, all you need to do is just kind of come towards the back uh, between the wall and the insurgent I just want to make your character trip up and you should notice that you should glitch through the garage door into this little room now this is really cool because no one can really kill you inside of here and pretty much just invincible and you can't really kill anyone either outside so really you're not really harming anyone if you're doing this in a public session which I don't recommend you do. If you are actually in a public session, do not do these wall breaches. Do it in a solo session, like an invite only or something like that. So you don't actually harm other players. But yeah guys, now moving on to number 4. Okay guys, so coming in at number 4 is this really epic wall breach. This is probably my favourite out of all the wall breaches in today's video. And just like the last glitch, all you need to do is just get the insurgent park it along the wall and you'll need to get a streetcar as well and just park it beside the insurgent there was the location of today's wall breach if you didn't catch it just rewind it and then you'll know the location of it but do the exact same that is shown in the video right now and then guys all you need to do is just get on top of the insurgent and kind of go along the wall as you can see me do right here and yet again try and make your character trip up into the corner of the wall as you can see right there, and nailed it, and then you should get wall breached into the roof, as you can see right here. Now you are invincible in this glitch, no one can really kill you, and as soon as you get into this wall breach, you can actually shoot out of it if you keep walking down. But this part I'm in right now, you can't really shoot out of it. So this is the part of the wall breach you can actually shoot out of, so some parts you can actually shoot out of this wall breach. And there is in fact an invisible water part kind of underneath the fountain which is on the top as you can see right here above me there is actually a fountain and below the fountain there is a little pocket of water that you can actually go in due to this like wall breach but yeah you can just swim around in here you will need to like get breath and everything because you are underwater and you will lose air but yeah there is the fountain as you can see right there and underneath the fountain there is a pocket of water which you can swim in and if you keep going through the water, you will drop down into this bigger part of the wall breach, which you can literally walk around. But I, re I recommend shooting flares on the floor so you know which is safe to walk in. Because as you can see right here, I do fall through the map. But yeah guys, I do recommend you get flares and just shoot them at the ground so you know which part's safe to actually walk around on. But yeah guys, now let's move on to wall breach number 3. Okay guys, so coming in at number 3, this is a really cool tree wall breach. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of people know about this wall breach already, but if you don't, come to this location shown in game right now. You should see a really big tree. And then guys, once you've located that tree, all you need to do is go up to the trunk of the tree and just start spamming X if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation. And what you should notice is you jump inside of the tree and you would need a gun, so when you actually get inside of the tree, you aim down, which will actually make you stay inside of the tree, because the amount of times I've jumped inside of this tree and it's pushed me out the other side, 
so make sure you do actually have a gun to keep you inside of the tree. And yeah guys, you can actually use your weapons inside of this wall breach, and it's right next to the Eclipse Towers, which means there's going to be quite a lot of people around this area, so you could probably wreak havoc and kill a lot of players doing this glitch. But yet again, please don't do this in a public session, you will probably get reported by some online player, so do this in a private session or something like that. But yeah guys, moving on to wall breach number 2. So guys, coming in at wall breach number 2 is this really epic scrapyard wall breach. This wall breach is actually located right next to the entrance of the scrapyard, but if you don't know where the scrapyard is, it's right here on the map, it's located next to the airport. And soon as you arrive at the scrapyard, you should see a load of containers stacked up onto each other. And all you need to do is just walk in between of those containers. There's like a green container, a brown container and a yellow container on top. And all you need to do is walk in the middle of those containers. And all you need to do is just jump up onto the green container. But make sure that the yellow container is over you, if that makes sense. But as you can see in the video right now, I have wall breached inside of the yellow container. And now I am invincible inside of this wall breach. No one can really harm me and I can't harm them because I can't shoot out of it. And yeah, so it's a pretty cool glitch. But yet again, if you're doing these wall breaches, do it in a private session. Because even if you can't harm anyone, no doubt someone's going to report you anyway. But yeah guys, the only way you can actually harm someone is by this little area right here. This little gap that you jumped up on. But no one's really going to go in between there. So you can't really harm anyone else. But yeah guys, it's a pretty cool glitch. And uh, now let's move on to wall breach number one. Okay guys, so coming in at number one, um, you've probably already seen this one, maybe some of you have seen this wall breach, but if you haven't, all you'll need to do is get some sort of car like the Rustin or a pretty low car and come to this location right here, it's right next to the Eclipse Towers. And all you want to do is just kind of get onto this little part I'm on right now, next to this little bush I'm in. And then all you need to do is just reverse into this little wall right here you can see me do, and as you can see, your car goes straight through the wall as you can see right there and this does actually work with any low car but I use the Rustin because I know it works but as you can see if you go into it even more you are fully inside of the wall and no one can really know where you are they'll probably see you on the map and wonder where the hell is he but you can't really shoot out of it so no one can really shoot in or explode you or whatever so I can see I try and shoot this woman right here is walking down the street I fail and uh, yeah, so no one can really walk out of it. You're safe and other players are safe. But yet again, guys, if you're doing these wall breaches, don't do it in a public session. Because it's probably going to be that one guy that does report you. Even though you're not really harming anyone else. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe for more daily GTA 5 online content. But then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.